Hey guys, I wanted to create this video because I, this question really comes up very frequently. Will my Bulletproof coffee keep me from losing weight? Okay, so let's just talk about this. Um, when you look at the macros for the healthy keto program that I recommend, you should keep your carbs under 5% of the total calories. And we added in vegetables at 5% of the total calories. It might not seem like a lot, but this is seven to 10 cups of vegetables because obviously there's a lot of water, a lot of fiber, and very low glycemic carbohydrate. And then we have the protein, 20%. And the rest is fat, 70%. And so many people, when they start this, they look at 70% fat, they're like, wow, that's a lot of fat. That's like tons of fat. How, can, how am I gonna eat all that fat? Okay, well, let's go ahead and take a look at something. We have intermittent fasting where we're doing one meal a day, or let's say we're doing two meals a day, or let's just say three meals a day. Well, it becomes a little complex because you, get in, you have these calories and you have the grams and you have the ounces, and that's why we're creating an app right now to do the calculations for you because it can get really complex. But as we're testing our app now, we're having some very interesting realizations that I wanna share with you, okay? And I wanna base this on 1,500 calorie, two meals per day. Okay, so let's say an average person is doing 1,500 calories. They're not a very large person. They're maybe a small to medium person, and this is how many calories they're going to consume. Well, 70% fat would come out to 114 grams of fat. Okay, you might go, wow, that's a lot of fat. Well, check this out. Bulletproof coffee, two tablespoons of MCT oil, comes out to 24% of your total uh, fat calories for the entire day, 24%. If we add the two tablespoons of butter, which makes up the uh, Bulletproof coffee, that comes out to 38%, giving you a total of 62% of your total fat calories just from this one cup of Bulletproof coffee. Wow, that's a lot. Then if you added a half a cup of mixed nuts, that's 39% of your total fat calories. So that gives you 111%. That's a little bit over 114 grams of fat just from the nuts and the Bulletproof coffee. We're not even talking about the salad dressing or the fat and the protein. So in reality, it's not gonna be hard to hit this target. It's gonna be hard not to exceed it. Now, in the beginning, you need to add more fat because you're adapting and you need to go longer between meals. But as you adapt, the goal is to get you to burn your body fat not just the dietary fat. And that's why it's important not to exceed these amounts. Don't worry, the app is coming really soon. We're just working out the bugs right now. But Bulletproof Coffee may not spike your insulin very much, but it will provide additional fat that may keep your body from burning your own fat. So if you find that you're not losing, just nix these two and see if that might help you. So it really depends on how fast your metabolism is, how well your digestion is, uh, your age, and there's some other variables. So I'm not against Bulletproof Coffee, but I just wanted to give you this data to think with. In case you're not losing weight, this could be the reason. Hey, if you like helping people as much as I do, press the share button and let's get this information way out there.